Hello guys, today I am going to talk about the national exit test. If we talk with respect of Indian medical graduates, the national exit test is a replacement of the NEET PG to secure a seat for the postgraduate courses and also a licensure exam to be eligible to practice in India. And at the same time, if we talk in terms of foreign medical graduates, there will be one single exam is called as national exit test. Right now, all the foreign medical graduates are writing foreign medical graduate exam to get licensed to practice in India. Once they pass, they go for the internship and after that, they write need PG exam to get seat in the PG courses. But now, there will be one single exam called as national exit test for both, whether the graduate is from the foreign origin or from the Indian medical schools. So the national exit exam especially aims to uplift more of the qualified and skilled medical professionals in India. And according to the amendment passed in 2019, the students who are enrolled in the batch of 2018 onwards will give the first next exam, which is probably in the year 2023. It is now clear that next will be commenced from 2023. But still, there are speculations that it may be commenced from 2022 also. But what I feel is 2023 will be obvious. So the national exit test is going to be the standard national test for all the MBBS graduates replacing NEET PG as well as the MCI screening test, meaning the students are going to write only one exam to get license and also to secure postgraduate seat in India. This is what you need to know about what exactly is the national exit test. And one important point to focus here is that both Indian and international medical graduates should pass the national exit test to begin their internship. So the next test score will also be the criteria for allocating the PG seats by Government of India and also by private medical institutes. So once the student finishes the final year of MBBS, the national exit test is going to assess the conceptual comprehension and problem solving abilities of a student. Now, let us concentrate more on what exactly is the next pattern that is national exit test examination pattern. Even though we do not have a concrete structure which is proposed officially by the National Medical Council, but as per the speculations which are already present right now, the next will have two parts. Next one is going to be a theory exam, which means it is an objective type of exam. And next two is going to be the practice exam or practicals or maybe clinical skills. And for the national exit test one, we call it as next one, there will be multiple choice questions and majority of them will be based on clinical scenarios or case-based scenarios these are nothing but called as STEM based questions. And these clinical based questions helps to test the competency level of a student regarding the application of the theoretical knowledge, understanding, diagnosing and treating the patient's condition. And in simple terms, the student should be able to think like a physician. So this is what the National Medical Commission wants as an outcome of the National Exit Test. So after passing the National Exit Test 1, student will begin their internship. And after the internship, your next one score will assist you to obtain the PG seat. And students also should pass the practical exam called as Next 2 after the clinical rotation. And the next two score or grades will not have any kind of impact on the allocation of the PG seat. Therefore, next one is the qualifying exam to get the license to practice and a competitive exam to secure PG seat. And one point, a very good news for everyone is, 
you will get an unlimited number of attempts to pass national exit test but the next one score will be valid only for three years for the postgraduate entrance ranking. Now let us concentrate on what is the syllabus for the national exit test. So as per the revised Medical Council of India curriculum because at that time there was a Medical Council of India. Now the Medical Council of India is dissolved and in that place we have the National Medical Commission. So the national exit test will be having all the 23 subjects. So here you can see all the 23 subjects on the screen. So these are the 23 subjects what you will be having as the syllabus of the national exit test. So out of all these subjects, concentrate the point very clearly here that the clinical topics will be having higher weightage than the preclinical and paraclinical ones. But students should give equal importance to all the subjects because you cannot understand clinicals unless you are familiar with the basic sciences. So the National Medical Commission is yet to make an official announcement and we can expect this anytime soon. If we talk specifically about the distribution of the next one question paper, as per the present scenario, the problem solving questions cover approximately about 60%, comprehension and analysis are going to be 30%, recall which means the rote learning methodology kind of questions will cover only 10% and applied basic sciences covers approximately about 10% and preventive and public health covers approximately 10% which means the test is going to check the competency level of each and every student to check whether the student is able to treat the patient condition or not. So to explain in a nutshell, after passing university final examination, student have to pass next one to start internship and after completing 12 months of internship, student has to pass next two to practice as a licensed doctor in India. This is what is about the national exit test.